Just a moment ago, we saw an interesting bias network that we would call a resistive, uh, a resistive dividing bias network, where we take two resistors, R1 and R2, and put them between the supply rails. And we take the center tap between the resistors and use that to bias the base of a transistor. Now to figure out a way to solve for this circuit, we're going to replace R1 and R2 with their Thevenin equivalent. I bet you thought you'd never hear the name Thevenin again. So to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit, we measure the open circuit voltage across the output and we measure the short circuit current when short circuiting the output. And R Thevenin of course is defined as the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. The open circuit voltage is fairly easy to find. If we have a supply terminal VDD, we can see that VOC is equal to VDD times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, just a simple voltage division. The short circuit current is also easy to find. We have grounded one side of this resistor, so we know the supply voltage on both sides of the resistance. In other words, the short circuit current is simply equal to VDD divided by R1. Solving for R Thevenin, then, we find that R Thevenin is equal to R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, or is simply equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2. Knowing this, we can now make a simple circuit to help find the bias point for the transistor. So our new circuit, after replacing the resistive divider with its Thevenin equivalent, looks something like so. We still have the transistor with RC and RE. We replace, or at the input, we replace the resistive divider with a voltage source that's equal to VOC, whatever our open circuit voltage was for the Thevenin equivalent circuit, in series with the Thevenin resistance, R1 in parallel with R2. Now we can solve a KVL equation around the input loop to figure out what the bias point of the transistor is. From the bias point, we'll find things like the emitter current, the collector current, the base current, and we'll be able to find our small signal model. Next time, we will talk about uh, load circuits for uh, transistor amplifiers.